Some weeks ago, I decided to pick up one of these resistance decade boxes, basically a box where you can dial in different resistance values across the leads to whatever you like. These are super handy for just basically prototyping or if you're troubleshooting or if you want to just see if you can change the behavior of your circuit a little bit, well, this will do it. There are lots of cheap options available, but this I thought was maybe the best all round solution. It comes as a pre-made kit or as a kit that you assemble yourself. I ended up getting the capacitor one as a kit and this one seemed to be pretty good price. If you make projects like these or projects with electronics, you'll want to check out PCBWay for all your PCB needs. They support this channel and many other YouTubers by providing high quality PCBs at a great price. Check them out. So overall, this thing seemed to come pretty well made. The box is really heavy duty. It's a good feeling project box and it seems like it'll do the business. The trick is for me having something like this always accessible on the bench. The ones that you have to use jumpers or dip switches, I guarantee I'm never going to use. This is super simple with these rotary dials. Just dial in the value you want and you're there. Across the clip leads, you're all set. Now, the current consumption will depend of obviously on your circuit, so you have to be a little careful and know what you're doing, but for most things where you just say, say you're working with a 555 timer and you want to change the value slightly to change your oscillation or change your output of your circuit, well, this will do that for you. I went ahead and disassembled it just to see how well it was made inside. I was not disappointed. This was assembled just wonderfully. It's good high quality looking components, good solder joints, just overall pretty decent looking assembly. I did get the assemble it yourself version for a capacitor substitution box and I assembled that on a live stream. I may assemble a video and post it up here as well, but it was pretty much the exact same. It was pretty much completely identical. The, the same PCBs, the same instructions, you just put capacitors across and different silk screening on the labels. In checking the, the different resistance values with the meter, across the board they came up just wonderfully. They were well within the margin of error I would expect. This is not a precision component. This is not a precision tool. If you want to get precision, well, you're going to have to pay a lot more money than 40 Canadian dollars. But overall, I'm it's fine for my uses. I'm super impressed with it. It's got a place on my workbench for, for quick and dirty, just grab it and go. This is way quicker than me digging through the resistor bin. With that said though, if you're new into the hobby and really on a budget, you could build this yourself or you can just buy an assortment of resistors for a couple of bucks. But if you've got say 40 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, this is a pretty good use in the capacitor one as well. I'm Eric. Thanks for joining me in the Make Me Lab today.